going on YouTube? Heck here back with another video. Today I wanted to do a comparison video on both of these AK-47 pistols. This right here is the Century Arms Micro Draco and right here we have the Pioneer Arms Help Up Pistol. They're both AKs, they're both chambered in 7.62x39, they take the same magazine, same rounds. Everything's pretty much the same but I mean they, they look different of course. One thing I do want to mention, this one was by far the my favorite, the one I wanted to get at first. So I purchased, I wasn't able to get this one first, I actually purchased the help up first, this one wasn't in stock at the time so I got on a waiting list and a couple months later I received an email so I purchased it, but I've been wanting one for a while so I bought it and um, I'll tell you guys it's still not that good at all, it has a lot of play on my handguard now and that, that was the first time that I took it out, it was brand new when I took it out the box. I also noticed that it came with a bunch of scuffs on the finish. It kind of has like a bunch of like I don't know they they got tossed around or what, but it has like a like a bunch of little scratches on the on the finish, so it looks like it's all scratched up. Also, I did notice uh, the trigger after a couple times that I, you know I because I did do a mag dump on it, so I'm not sure if it wasn't built for that or uh, you know what happened, but my trigger kind of feels uh, weird now like when I go to charge it you know like to, to put one in there uh, sometimes it kind of takes a couple pulls for the, it to actually you know activate the the firing pin to actually shoot so you know it had to that that was it worked there I don't know why I was working there but when I was actually at the range uh, I was trying it and I kind of had trouble getting the bullet out you know I had to push it two three times for it to actually fire so I wasn't I'm gonna have to replace that for sure I don't, I don't think you know it's gonna it's safe for it to be working here and there you know I need it to be working when every time I pull the trigger so I'm gonna go ahead and replace that I don't want to replace the handguard I want to see if there's a fix for it I have seen people that put I guess it's like a rubber band type of um, wrapping around it but I'm not sure if that helps with the actual play or if it's still going to have play on it because it's kind of hard you know, to shoot because it has a lot of recoil already. It's kind of hard to you know, keep it stable when this thing is jumping around on you and like I mentioned the, the pistol grip itself too is jumping around it's just all over the place. It's already you know has a big, a big uh, recoil so it's kind of kind of hard to keep it down but I was wondering on those, on those rubber bands that I was uh, mentioning right now that people put around here uh, I'm not sure how that'll work I'm not sure if they're like heat resistant or what because I'll tell you this part right here gets really hot so I'm not sure how that would work or if you can't get it that hot with that thing on there but I don't, I don't want to replace that I want to see if there is a fix for that also I've seen these come off on some uh, other people's weapons that I watched videos online but right now I don't have a problem with it yet I'm not sure maybe later on it will uh, come off but um, like I said, this one's built not that good. It has a lot of play everywhere. You know, it feels a little flimsy. Um, also, I did have a steel mag in there that I put. It jammed on the help hub, but I'm not sure if it was the help hub or if it was the magazine itself. But um, once I get everything going on again, all the parts and everything, I'll upload a video on installing everything, and then uh, we'll take it back out to the range, try another steel mag on it, see if that'll work. Uh, now on the help up, the help up is half the price of the Micro Draco and it's built way better. I'll tell you, it's, uh, it doesn't have any play on the handguard at all. I mean, it's dirty on there. I can't, I can't move that. But right here, when I go ahead and uh, want to put one in the chamber, like I mentioned on the Draco, it is um, kind of flimsy. You can tell. You know, this one's kind of like sturdy. I mean, it's it's built really good. No play at all. The trigger pulls every time. I like uh, this one. I, I like the actual handguard. I love the handguard on the Draco, but it's just kind of hard to, to keep it down range. Uh, every time you go to shoot, you know, it's so the recoil is so big that it's it's hard to get a grip. And then, like I said, it's it's way thicker. Look at the the difference. I mean, you're, you're talking about maybe another half inch, an inch, you know, wider than than this grip right here. But this one is way better in my opinion um, this one's more reliable I don't need to replace any parts on this one at all that I see of yet I'm gonna upload more videos of this one for sure um, 
I'll probably use this coming weekend. I'll go out to the range again. Try some more uh, magazines on this one. Try the Alien magazine, the Banana magazine, and maybe the Steel magazine too. See if maybe they don't jam. Let's let's put this one to the test. Let's let's torture this one. Maybe it gives out. Uh, you know, once you torture it, give it some more. Let's heat it up. Let's put a hundred rounds. See what happens. I keep it lubricated pretty good. So I also the the health the Draco I kept lubricated good, but I mean that's not gonna help with all the flimsiness. So I'm not sure. If you you guys own one? Let me know what what did you do to fix that? Just or did yours not get loosened like mine? Was mine just a bad one in the batch because I mean like I said right now uh, it, it will shoot but I sometimes have to pull the trigger two or three times so this is not reliable right now I'm gonna get it reliable again I don't plan on selling it I love the Draco because it's, it's so tiny that's my number one uh, reason why I love it is because it's so tiny and it you know gets it shoots 7.62 by 39 so big pretty big bullet so I'm gonna keep it keep it in my collection and uh, get it back to the working condition but for the meantime this one was the way better toys way cheaper so I mean I, w I would recommend this one over the Draco if you were going to get one or the other I would recommend the help pup for sure uh, but like I said let me know if you guys have any fixes on the on the Draco on the handguard itself um, maybe on the trigger the jar trigger give out two you know because uh, like I said it's flimsy all over the place so let me know guys on the on the comments below comment what you do to fix that or did you have to buy new parts or what but uh i'll go ahead and upload another video on the help up at the range and uh, hopefully you guys stay tuned uh shout out to everybody that's been liked and subscribed already man i appreciate you guys if you haven't yet please do i'll keep uploading more videos as soon as i get more weapons uh i have another ar pistol that i haven't done a video on i have a high point pistol that i haven't done a video on uh my glock i haven't well that one's been around I put some shorts on it but um, I want to compare maybe the that uh, high point pistol that I have compared to my Glock because I mean they're different in price the the high point was about 180 and the Glock was about six hundred dollars you know so let's put those to the test see what it do they're both chambered in a uh, nine millimeter and I do have an extended magazine on each so we'll see how that goes but uh hopefully you guys stay tuned and everybody have a great day